This is Tom and Ben News United Kingdom. Now a special news report with Tom the Talking Cat. Dema Tomak Ben Nuidian Adenis Inedig. Now Adrothiad Nuidian Abenig Geda Tom the Talking Cat. Ishe Tom Agus Ben Nirchin Umriak to Nukche and Shaw. Anish Arshig Nirch Shumrechche La Tom the Talking Cat. This is Tom and Ben News United Kingdom broadcasting live from Melton Mowbray, Leicestershire. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. We here at Tom and Ben News United Kingdom is broadcasting this special programme to you. This is Tom and Ben News United Kingdom broadcasting live from Melton Mowbray, Leicestershire. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. The Queen was 96 years old and had reigned for 70 years. News of her passing is reaching the rest of the world and she was monarch of more than 100 million people. Her reign began on the 6th of February 1952 when she was just 25 years old. In September 2015, she became Britain's longest serving monarch, having sat on the throne for longer than her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. And in 2022, she became the first monarch in the country's history to have reigned for 70 years. Prime Minister Liz Truss has led tributes to the Queen following her death, saying she was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Making an address outside Downing Street, Miss Truss, who has only been in number 10 for 48 hours, said, Britain is the great country it is today because of her. She added, she was the very spirit of Britain and that spirit will endure. Miss Truss said the death of the Queen was a huge shock to the nation and the world and the passing of the second Elizabethan age. If you've just joined us, Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The palace has said in a statement that the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King, Prince Charles, and the Queen Consort will remain in Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. The Queen was 96 years old and had reigned for 70 years. News of her passing is reaching the rest of the world and she was monarch of more than 100 million people. Her reign began on the 6th of February 1952 when she was just 25 years old. In September 2015, she became Britain's longest serving monarch, having sat on the throne for longer than her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. 
and in 2022 she became the first monarch in the country's history to have reigned for 70 years. Prime Minister Liz Truss has led tributes to the Queen following her death, saying she was the rock on which modern Britain was built. Making an address outside Downing Street, Miss Truss, who has only been in number 10 for 48 hours, said, Britain is the great country it is today because of her. She added, she was the very spirit of Britain and that spirit will endure. Miss Truss said the death of the Queen was a huge shock to the nation and the world and the passing of the second Elizabethan age. French President Emmanuel Macron led the tributes remembering a kind-hearted Queen who was a friend of France and former US President Barack Obama said the Queen had captivated the world with a reign defined by grace, elegance and a tireless work ethic. The current US President Joe Biden described the Queen as more than a monarch she defined an era. Describing his visit to the UK in 2021 as President, Mr Biden said she charmed us with her wit, moved us with her kindness and generously shared with us her wisdom. And Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau um, said that she had ov an obvious, deep and abiding love for Canadians. In a complicated world, her steady grace and resolve brought comfort to us all. King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands, who is Queen Elizabeth's fifth cousin, said he and Queen Maxima remembered the steadfast and wise monarch with deep respect and great affection. And Belgium's King Philip and Queen Matilda said she was an extraordinarily personality who throughout her reign showed dignity, courage and devotion. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi recalled his memorable meetings with the monarch during two UK visits. I will never forget her warmth and kindness, he tweeted. During one of the meetings she showed me the handkerchief Mahatma Gandhi gifted her on her wedding. I will always cherish that gesture. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz paid tribute to the Queen's wonderful humour and said in a statement that her commitment to German-British reconciliation after the horrors of World War II will remain unforgotten. Ireland's Taoiseach Michael Martin spoke of her reign as one of historic duration and described the Queen's passing as the end of an era, while Ireland's President Michael D. Higgins honours the Queen's extraordinary sense of duty, which will hold a unique place in British history. Well, that's it for an episode that neither of us have wanted to watch, let alone create. Thank you for watching. Have a nice rest of your evening. Please subscribe and we shall see you on the 18th. And thoughts and prayers go out to the royal family on this rather difficult time.